in this video i am going to upgrade the kubernetes cluster with uh, cube atm uh, <clears throat> before doing the upgradation so um, i would like to say that this will upgrade from our current version from uh, uh, 1.12 to 1.13 and uh, um, the similar steps uh, uh, we have to follow uh, for other version also let's suppose if you are current environment you you, you have 1.13 and you have to upgrade from 1.15 or 1.16 so now you can follow the similar steps okay so it's just with the different version but we'll go through uh, the same steps okay so uh, before doing the installation so uh, a few things i would like to uh, add here okay so there are many different ways you can install kubernetes you can have uh, uh, one or two worker nodes or you can have hundred of worker nodes at all depends on your environment you have the control plane components uh, uh, replicated and uh, you can have it uh, it's uh, replicated okay on uh, different clusters or different uh, uh, servers the but the unique things about this upgrading with kubeadm is that it makes sure that these features are installed and it touch in the proper orders okay so it's very easy upgrade process so we will also find uh, all these steps uh, on this kubernetes io page okay and uh, you will uh, find the latest release and the versions um, on this uh, github page of the kubernetes okay so uh, kubernetes kubernetes i uh, uh, github page you will find the, all the releases here okay so uh, yeah so you have control plane components uh, uh, you have uh, uh, worker nodes components but the major component uh, is uh, cube api server okay so as i said it's very easy to upgrade and you can follow the steps here okay uh, but before we go and upgrade uh, uh, to uh, the later version okay you can go and uh, uh, check what is your current version uh, on your cluster so let's go and check kubectl get version sorry that's kubectl uh, that's my mistake kubectl get nodes get nodes okay you can say it's 1.122 install uh, then you can uh, 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 give kubectl version hyphen hyphen short okay so you can see here we have uh, the client and uh, uh, the server version okay so what you see here 1.12 okay 2 and uh, uh, 10 here so the client version is the kubelet version and the server version is here the api version okay api server version and it's not necessarily have the same version okay so during the installation we only focus on the control components and uh, all the mandatory uh, components here uh, like uh, uh, cube scheduler cube controllers okay uh, cube control managers uh, then you have uh, uh, kubelet uh, then you have uh, cube proxy so these are the major components which you will only focus here okay and uh, it's not means uh, mandatory to have all components have uh, uh, the same version can have the different version since cube api server is the primary components in the control plane and that is the all components talk to uh, this component so none of the other components should be higher than the cube api server version okay 
So let's suppose your Cube API version is 1.1210. The other component like controller manager, Cube scheduler, or Kubelet, Cube uh, Cube proxy, Cube control should not be higher than 1.12. Cube controller, Cube scheduler can be one version lower. So in this case, let's suppose if you are upgrading to 1.13. It can be 1.12. Kubelet, Cube proxy can be two version lower. So let's suppose if you are upgrading to 1.13, can be 1.13, 1.12, or 1.11. Similarly, Cube control can have the same above or lower than API server. So now the question arises: When should you upgrade? So let's suppose right now the Kubernetes has released the latest version is 1.15, okay, and in your cluster your current version is 1.12. So here you are 1.12 and Kubernetes release has 1.15, 1.14, 1.13. At any time, Kubernetes support only recent three minor version. So in this case, the Kubernetes will support up to 1.13 because 1.15 is the latest version at this time. If you go and check on the Kubernetes uh, GitHub, the latest stable version is 1.16. So in that means the Kubernetes will support only 1.14 versions. Okay. So uh, at any time, um, so um, it supports recent three minor version. Next is how do you upgrade? Can we directly upgrade from 1.1 to 1.15? No, that's not, not the recommended approach. The recommended approach is to upgrade one minor version at a time. Again, I'm saying the recommended work approach is to upgrade one minor version at a time. So in this case, you have to upgrade first to 1.13, then 1.14 and 1.15, then 1.16. You cannot directly go from install from upgrade from 1.1 to 1.6. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> yeah. Now. So to get the version of other components, you can go and uh, uh, check the other uh, version components. kubectl get po um, hyphen n cube system. Okay. So let's suppose if you want to uh, check the version of cube controller, you can go here. Cube controllers get PO iPhone O YAML. So in this YAML file, you can see the current version of your Cube Controller Manager. Let me show you where you will find. Yes. You can see here this is the current version of your cube controller manager okay similarly you can find the other components okay let's suppose i want to see the current version of um, uh, cube scheduler see uh, when you do the upgradation in real time you have to note down the all the version of your components okay so that uh, after the installations you can go back and check you have uh, the right version is installed or not okay so let's see what is the version of cube scheduler okay uh, yeah so this is also 1.1210 okay so let's go back clean the screen okay so now we know the version of all our components so let's go and upgrade the kubedm and uh, 
use the QADM to upgrade the other components. Okay. So I will usually follow uh, the Kubernetes uh, IU page. Okay, to uh, do the upgradations. Um, so let's go back to this page. Okay, I will do APD update, sudo APD update. Mm. Okay, so let's do sudo with root. What's the password for this? If I'm not wrong, this is the password. Okay. Now, what next? Uh, uh, you can find the uh, latest version in this list if you want. Uh, okay. So these are the version. Okay, so let's suppose, as I said, we have to install on uh, 1.13. Okay, so when you go up, we'll find out the 1.13 here. So uh, let's install the 1.1312. Okay, so this is the one which I would like to install. Okay. So I will note down somewhere here. Okay, so clear this screen. Okay, now uh, what next? Next stage, I will, uh, on your control plane note, okay, we will first unhold the QADM, okay. Uh, why we unhold this uh, QADM uh, cards uh, if you will not uh, uh, when we have done the installation previously it was hold uh, to this 1.12 version so if you will not unhold it will not uh, you cannot install uh, the other version so let's do this so it's on hold now update the update and install let's do the sudo and uh, what is the version we have uh, noted on we have 1.1312 zero so let me go back and check i'm doing the right way yes so this is one view yes that's all correct and after that we will mark hold okay so uh we are getting error uh, we got the error here what error okay so basically what happened i have not added sudo here so let's give it sudo let's make it some bigger screen again error i got uh, okay, so the error is uh, the following package have must some dependency. So cube ADM, cube blades, some dependencies there. Okay, so how to resolve generator breaks? This may cause. Okay, so let's solve this dependency. So we will go and find out what was the version which was better for this can't we go up okay so so let's suppose i will do 1.13120 okay so
yes this time i didn't receive any error here okay okay so make it again hold it so sudo hold now you can go and verify the downloaded uh, 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 verify that download works and we have the exact version do you have yes we have the exact version here okay now we will on the master node we will uh, run this command uh, cube adm upgrade plan okay so what it will do the cube adm upgrade plan uh, this plan the upgrade of all the controller components here so again uh, let's log in with the root okay so okay one thing here you notice that when you give the uh, upgrade QVDM upgrade plan basically it will show you uh, what are the other components and what is their current version and what is the available version so you will notice that here components that must be upgraded manually after you have upgraded the control base QVDM upgrade apply so basically I will no um, copy this one because you, this command we have to use uh, execute manually will also you can also note down um, I will basically what will do I will note it somewhere because this will be recorded. so our current version is 1.1210 that's API server and uh, the available is 1.1312 controller manager is 1.12 can be upgraded to 1.13 scheduler Q proxy core DNS etcd okay so basically in this case we are not doing uh, upgrading the hcd and core dns because uh, uh, there is a different binary to install this uh, uh, component okay so what we can do now uh, it's saying that you can now apply the upgrade by executing this command okay so now the question is why it's saying okay so what we'll do we will uh, give the command uh, here uh, sudo qvdm upgrade apply this command okay so before you upgrade this you can have you have to update qvdm to uh, 1.1312 so it's saying that you have to update uh, the qvdm so okay let's do this how we will do uh, this is the command okay so sudo qvdm uh, upgrade apply let's do this so you receive any error okay so basically the error is there uh, we will do one two because this is the one which we downloaded yes okay so uh, basically it will uh, uh, take some time okay and uh, uh, once it is done okay uh, once it is done then we will hold this so We'll wait for some time and well we'll go back and uh, find one parts level so you if you notice that it's uh, uh, upgrading one by one to all the Kubernetes components okay uh, it's uh, so it's saying that success your cluster is now upgraded to 1.13 Wow so you can verify now your node no it's not upgraded why because we have not 
and he started the server so what you have to do uh, not server you have to cube control so now that your control plane is upgraded please go upgrade in the cubelet so first you have to install you have to upgrade uh, 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 the cubelets okay so I think the same thing this command checks that your cluster can be upgraded and uh, you upgrade the cubadium here next once it is done again we will unhold okay so upgrade the cubelet so the same thing is saying that please process upgrading the cubelet so we are going to upgrade the cubelet here because we have not done so so let's do this also okay then next so what i will do make it two and give the sudo I also will give the sudo and enter yes so it is done make it then hold this yes hold now uh, next we will upgrade on all other nodes okay so now you notice that our master node is upgraded to 1.13 but our workers are still 1.12 right so next what you do we will upgrade our cube control here means our will up, upgrade uh, to our uh, worker node here okay so what we'll do we will go back go to our worker node so i have a uh, two uh, worker node here okay so uh, so if you have noticed that if you run uh, this you can see uh, 10.0101 is our master 102 is our one worker and another is 103 so this is 102 okay where our uh, uh, worker node is available okay and 103 is the other worker node so what i will do i'm going to upgrade on the worker node so uh, we will do the similar command on this go to the worker node okay so go sudo okay, so let's i will do the same thing here and let's increase the font okay and this one also i will increase some point okay now i'll give the password okay so also give password here okay clear okay so what next uh, go back and give this command use the sudo again make it sudo change this version and same command i will 
run on uh, execute on another component control uh, worker node okay so let's go back and do this one okay check what is doing okay so it's also doing the same thing okay now hold this okay now what we have done uh, we have uh, uh, if you go back we have uh, installed this one so let's check uh, go back here and check our nodes okay so still we see the uh, uh, this kubelet uh, each not installed right so uh, if I'm not wrong we have installed the kubectl but uh, um, kubelet is not installed on all this so what we'll do upgrade the kubelet config on worker node okay so on each node you have to uh, kubectl upgrade node uh, on each node upgrade the cube config so uh, go once again okay. so go to so uh, you see uh, upgrade cube ADM and kubelet on worker nodes this I have not done let's go to each node uh, worker node sudo next update and if it is done updated then install the kubelet cube ADM on this server so uh, it was two again it was two and give this sudo copy this command or uh, let's enter and same I will run here once it is done go and hold these two things okay so give the sudo we know that we have to execute all these things with sudo next okay so now do you think that it's updated yes it's updated but we have to also start the kubelet that's also uh, mandatory okay um, see sometimes uh, it's work sometimes it doesn't work so as per the process or steps we can um, always go and check your status of kubelet it's running okay so uh, but what we'll do still we will uh, restart this on each worker node okay so what i will do give control c and give the sudo and then run okay Finally, on this server, I will restart the 
cubelet okay now uh, okay so one thing here uh, i have not mentioned okay whenever you upgrade the kubernetes cluster on worker node first you have to uh, drain that node node so that uh, it's uh, if anything any any pods are running on this uh, node um, so it will be uh, evicted and uh, uh, it is unscheduleable right so prepare each nodes for maintenance by making it unscheduleable okay and uh, and uh, yeah so from control node you can uh, uh, run the command kubectl drain high and the um, uh, ip of uh, the node okay so uh, it will what it will do it will uh, make uh, it will uh, your means node will be in the maintenance uh, mode and uh, it will not allow any new uh, pod to be uh, deployed on this particular worker node okay or your any new applications is deployed on this particular uh, worker nodes okay so once you uh, done uh, run the command uh, kubectl uncordon and that the node and uh, kubectl get nodes so uh, we will see all uh, uh, your nodes is upgraded so you can go and check your version you can see your version is upgraded so uh, this is all about of your upgradations of kubernetes cluster from one version to